it going guys? I am in one of my favorite creeks that I've done maybe two videos on, um, but I have not been here yet this year. And I really want to catch some green sunfish. That's, you know, kind of the point of the channel is to catch all different kinds of species and go to these fun little tiny creeks that nobody thinks to fish in. So pretty much every time I've been here, it's been a different experience. Um, I usually catch at least one bass, but hopefully that trend will continue and be even better. Um, I'm probably gonna catch a lot of green sunfish and a lot of creek chubs and maybe some other stuff. Maybe some bluegill, maybe some shiners. I have caught a bullhead catfish here before, which is a lot of fun. So let's hope for as many species as I can get. Uh, like I said in an earlier video, all of the bigger creeks and rivers are probably still blown out. So I'm going to a small one here because this one clears out within two days after heavy rains. And then I'm probably going to upgrade and go to something a little bit bigger tomorrow and maybe catch more bass, maybe some smallmouth. No matter what, I'm putting this video out, even if I catch uh, all green sunfish because it's something different I haven't done yet. And stay tuned for the end of the video or maybe the middle, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to do some underwater footage as long as it's good. Um, and I've never done that before, so I have my old GoPro in the water right now and hopefully it's getting some good stuff. All right, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you out there. All right, everybody, I'm going to start off with a little tiny crappie lure here. This is like a uh, two bait, really small one on a uh, probably a 132nd ounce jig head, maybe even lighter than that. I don't have a tube jig head small enough to go into this bait. So I kind of just put in one of these little one of these little crappie ones that you see everywhere. You see these jig heads in beginner tackle boxes all the time, but it, they work if you rig it like this. There we go, we got our first fish. And it's a green sunfish, the first one of the year. Let's go. So just like last year, these green sunfish have like black spots on them. I don't know what they are. They're like some sort of, I don't know, parasite or something. Now they're on my hands. So I don't know what that is. Look at that. There are some really big ones in here. My PB green sunfish is in this creek. There's something. Oh yeah, another green sunfish. Look at those colors. Hopefully I can get a good view of that. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. All right, I got something. There we go, new species for today and this year. It's a legendary, whoa, this is, oh, that was a legendary creek chub. The legendary creek chub, not a legendary. Every time you hook them, they start bleeding, so that's what that is, but they're good. I have caught some pretty big creek chubs out of here. It'd be interesting if I find any this time. Oh, that feels pretty good. What's this? Oh, sorry, buddy. Ah, we got the biggest sunfish of the day. These guys fight really hard. Ooh, he's got a chunk of his top fin missing there. There we go, biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh, it's funny. They know exactly where to go. He just went down the rapids there, back to his hole. He, he knew, must have known this is the, not where he's meant to be. That's pretty cool. Oh, now that's a good green sunfish. Or maybe this is a bluegill. 
we may have, whoa, I kind of think these are hybrids. They have a little bit of the shape of a green sunfish and some of the colors, like the bottom fins and stuff, but their mouths aren't that big. I mean, I can lip this, but it's not nearly as big as a classic green sunfish. So I think this might be a, I mean, maybe it's a long ear or maybe it's a uh, hybrid of a bluegill and a green sunfish. I, I honestly have no clue. That's the biggest fish today though. Nice. If anybody knows what that fish is, let me know. Or let me know what you think it is. Ooh, that feels really good. What is that? Please tell me that's a bass. Now this, oh man. Look at the colors on this guy. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, look at the colors on this guy. That is so beautiful. Look at that. I think that is a classic green sunfish. I think, maybe that's a long ear. Actually, this might be a long ear. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at, but that's a really cool fish. This one's pretty fat too. Sucks when I don't know the species of the fish I'm catching. This little crappie bait is getting the job done with these uh, sunfish, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, this is a juicy spot. Wish I had a bigger bait, but I'll make do with what we got. Oh, uh, Creek Chub's making an appearance again. These are little ones. Although these would be really good bass baits. I can't even, I can't even lip these guys. All right, there he is. This would be an awesome, awesome bait to use for bass. I may have to come here to collect some one day. Ooh, that felt, that feels a little heavier. What is this? Green sunfish, all right. Look at that guy. That's definitely a green sunfish, not a doubt in my mind. Awesome. They're way more, uh, I don't know how to put it, flatter, more aerodynamic, <laughs> if that makes sense. The bluegill are usually like um, more circular. That feels pretty good again. Ooh, it's a chunky green sunfish. All right, another good green sunfish. Oh, no, no record breaker. Yeah, even if they're bass in this hole, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna get them because there's so many green sunfish that attack this lure so quickly. Okay, there's another one. Oh, this was maybe big. Oh, it is. This might be the biggest fish of the day. All right, this is definitely the biggest green sunfish of the day. Look how, look how thick this guy is. He's got some red eyes too. That is so cool. 
I'm, I'm convinced that those other big fish I was catching that were really colorful are either hybrids or they're long ears. All right, we gotta move on. No bass here this time. Oh my gosh, I got one in the shallow, shallow water. Was not expecting that. Little green sunfish. Just a little guy. It's crazy how much more green sunfish you catch with these lures than you do with uh, bluegill. I mean, even this little lure bluegill, like will just, well, at least the bluegill around me, they'll just kind of hit the end of it. But those green sunfish, they will take off with it right away. They basically got mouths like the bass. They just swallow everything. Now I haven't mentioned this. This creek eventually leads to a bigger creek that has a good amount of smallmouth in it. So I think I'm too far upstream for smallmouth to be in. But maybe in like August when the smallmouth I guess are really coming up the creeks, like later in the summer, I might be able to find some in here, maybe. But definitely there is a spot in this creek where you can start catching smallmouth. I just, I don't think it's here yet. Cool. Uh, what is this? A green sunfish. Going back in. This looks like a creek chub. Oh, nope. Green sound fish. Look at those blue stripes on the back. Beautiful. Pretty surprised I'm not catching uh, any shiners. Cause I know they're in here. And shiners are weird, they'll like, they'll straight up throw their bodies at the hook and then get hooked through the stomach. I don't know why they do that. I haven't caught one though this year. So it'd be kind of fun to catch. Ooh, got some cabbage. Good to see there's lots of plants growing in the creek. This is a really healthy creek, to be honest. Some sandy areas, there's some areas with clay, there's some areas with lots of rocks. They got everything in here. Good to see because they're building a bunch of houses around it and I hope they don't hurt it at all. Oh, this guy snagged it. That's a good size. I think we've got a bigger one today though, but that's, that's pretty good. It's so easy to catch them when they're this size and bigger because their mouth is huge. Like, look at that. Nice. So here's an example of how this creek constantly changes. So two years ago when I first started coming here to learn how to creek fish, just have some fun, this used to be a big deep spot over here. And the creek used to just create like a calm pool. There are a ton of fish in there. Super fun to go to this spot. We got a big rain and then bam, rock slide. Now it looks like this. Just, it's gone. So you can see all the fresh rocks that came off and they came off from that, uh, that hill right there. But that also shows how these creeks create their own little environment here. Like all these hills came from this creek. So it has its own gorge and valley it creates. So that's the cool thing. But yeah, unfortunately that fishing hole was taken out. Oh my gosh. Look at the belly on this guy. Look at that. Doesn't look like much probably on camera, but man, this guy's thick.
I gotta toss them in the hole without destroying it. Blowing it up. So I just lost that bait. Now I have something a bit bigger. This is like a two and a half or a three inch grub here. So this setup works really well for smallmouth and uh, should work really well for if there's bass in here. I'm still gonna get bites from uh, green sunfish, but only the really, really big ones will be able to take this. Yep, it did bring out a pretty good size, pretty good sized, uh, what is this? Oh, this is a green sunfish. Yeah, look at that. Look how big the mouth is. It's a nice one. Oh my gosh. These green sunfish, man. I'm bringing out the big boys now. Look at that. Might be the same one I just caught. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the fishing trip there. Kind of disappointed I, get, I didn't get a bass, but uh, I didn't, only saw one and I usually come down here and see at least a few and catch at least one, so uh, that's pretty disappointing. I don't know if it has anything to do with the time of the year or I saw um, a lot more evidence of people fishing here than I ever have, so maybe it's becoming more pressured because there's more houses being built here. I have no idea, but it's a tiny creek, so if there's a lot of people fishing here, I mean, it would be affected pretty easily. I might come here again this year, um, way later in the season to see if any any bass came up, but uh, I don't feel too confident in this creek anymore. So I'm gonna have to find a good, another good little creek to catch a little bit of everything in again. All right, well, I'm gonna keep hitting up uh, bigger creeks as the week goes on, just because everything's starting to clear up. So stay tuned for more awesome videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys out in the next creek.